everybody talks about Vietnam and, and Vietnam is on the rise at the moment. Would you be able to give us um, an overview of the population and de demographics of Vietnam? Vietnam's uh, uh, population has grown by roughly about uh, almost a million people a year for about the past 15, 16 years. So today our population is about 86 million people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Having said that, uh, that actually makes Vietnam the sixth largest population in Asia and the 13th largest globally. Uh, Vietnam actually has a very controlled uh, population growth, and it's something that the government is actually quite concerned about mm -hmm. for the simple fact that uh, uh, uncontrolled population growth is actually not good. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for example, last year I think 1.4 million babies what? arrived in Vietnam babies? last year. Wow, yeah. that's a lot of babies. That's a lot of <laughs> It's a lot of other things too. Yeah. I wonder where these people um, actually reside, though. So, what's the urban and suburban or rural split in Vietnam at the moment, and and um, how's that impacting the um, the consumer market in Vietnam? Okay. Um, uh, presently, you've got about thirty percent of the population that lives in urban Vietnam, mm -hmm. and seventy percent that is in rural Vietnam. Suffice it to say. Uh, urban Vietnam, the 10 key cities, actually make up 29% or 30% of the population, but 50% of the GDP in terms of the, the, the cities themselves. Oh, okay. But if you look at the actual split, rural Vietnam holds 60% of GDP and urban Vietnam uh, holds 40%. So uh, the point simply is, is that there's still a, a, a huge amount of opportunity mm -hmm. with respect to population demographics. Mm -hmm. uh, on average, a city like Ho Chi Minh City, which is 7.5 million, yeah. has roughly about 200,000 yeah. uh, Vietnamese moving into the city every year. Mm -hmm. uh, Hanoi, which is uh, officially about 6.5 million, mm -hmm. uh, is obviously the second largest city. And then you have uh, Haiphong mm -hmm. and a few others. But there's actually only four cities and over a million people, mm -hmm. but two of them are mega cities, and that's Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City. A lot of people actually talk about, when they talk about Vietnam, they, say, they talk about Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi. Um, but I've seen you, um, as, as in TNS, tracking 10 cities in, across Vietnam. So have you seen any sort of um, development in terms of population in those cities, apart from Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi? All urban centers are growing. They may not be growing at the sort of breakneck speed, mm. if you will, that uh, Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City have been. But everybody, or not everybody, but again, uh, it looks like about 1% to half a percent mm. is moving into the urban areas every year. And I think the best way to put it, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. close to 60% of Vietnam's GDP was derived from agriculture. Mm. Today, it's less than 25%. Mm. So obviously, the, the jobs are all in manufacturing, mm, yeah. uh, commercial services, so on mm. and so forth. And that obviously attracts the, the population, especially a young population the like young Vietnam. The young population of Vietnam, yeah. Asia in general and Vietnam specifically has been talked about as having an, an extremely young population. Um, everybody talks about young population, but can you give us an overview of the pyramid of population in Vietnam so that we understand a, a bit more? Right, right. Um, for the longest time, people kept on saying that uh, uh, about 60% of the population is under 25. Mm -hmm. Right now, 35% of the population is under 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, however, in the next 10 years, mm -hmm. 17 million new consumers aged 20 over will arrive in Vietnam. That's 17 million. 17 million new consumers. People are living longer. Mm -hmm. And obviously, after the American war in yeah. Vietnam, there was a baby boom. Yeah. And it's those baby boomers are now sort of turning, just about to turn 20 mm -hmm. yeah, or 25. Mm -hmm. So, uh, again, there's, uh, uh, what is it, 65% of the population that is actually of consumer age. So that's quite wow, strong. That's that a works huge out consumer to, market, isn't it? Uh, 56 million people. Yeah. 56 million people yeah. in the consumer market. Yeah. That's a big opportunity for anyone who is going to invest into Vietnam. And